So the fire on the table where the hottest topics are served. We're gonna be continuing the discussion about the evolution of media from traditional to new media. From the previous episode, we were able to know that we have pre-industrial age, industrial age, electronic age, and the information age that took place in our evolution of media. Now, we will be focusing in our third part which is the electronic age. The electronic age happened in the year 1930s to 1980s and the main invention during this age is what we call the transistor. Transistor is considered as one of the most important devices invented by humankind. It helped the advancement of the computers and it also made trillions of computation faster and easier. And before, it was used in many devices that made the long distance communication a lot more efficient. In this episode, we will know the technologies that became possible through the power of transistor and other advancement and media that took part in the electronic age. The first one is the transistor radio. This is a powerful convenient handheld device that was used as car radios for listening to popular music. The first transistor radio was created by Regency Division of Industrial Development Engineering Associates and in Texas Instrument in October 18, 1954 and it was called the Regency TR-1. The next one is the television. This is a device used to electronically transmit the moving images and sounds from a main source to a receiver. It has extended our capacity to talk and listen even if people are far from each other and its implement spread it across the world and made a big difference in media and communication. Peter Taylor Fansford II is the developer of the first all-electronic television system and in 1947, the first television set was created. The next one is the large computer. One of its examples is ENIAC, or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, which was built between 1943 and 1945. This is the first large-scale computer to run at electronic speed. It was a result of a proposal of the physicist named John Mockley. His proposal was to have an all-electronic calculating machine. Then a decade after, ENIAC was able to calculate more than the sum of all calculation done by humans before ENIAC. That is how fast ENIAC was. We also have the mainframe computer. It is known for its massive size as well. It can store a large amount of data and can possess high volume of calculation at high rate of reliability. The most prominent producer of mainframe computer in early 1940s is IBM. The prime capability of mainframe computer is computing financial indexing in comparison operation. The next advancement is the personal computer. This is called personal computer because it is designed for one user at a time. This computer can process limited computation due to its limited memory capacity. However, it is cheaper than mainframe computer that is why it became popular to schools and small businesses. The industry of PC or personal computer began in late 1970s when the Apple I was mass produced by Apple Computer which is now called as Apple Inc. As devices that made an impact 
in the electronic age are the OHP and LCD projectors. These are devices that use optical mechanisms that are utilized to project images or videos on a screen or flat surface. These were used in presentation and took place in the academe for its usefulness in lectures. These were created and being developed in 1940s and up to now, as according to the website of JMGO, in the last couple of decades, manufacturers have defined the projector's technologies for wielding realistic image qualities. Those are the technologies created during the electronic age and we will be knowing more advanced technologies in the fourth part of our topic about evolution of media from traditional to new media. So see you in our fourth part.